Hey, what's going on guys? Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Cookie Jar by Jack Johnson. Um, it's a pretty easy song, pretty beginner. Um, the rhythm is a little tricky. The chords are super simple. Um, there's a capo on the fourth fret as you can see. Um, so let's go through the chords that we're going to need for this song. So the first chord is going to be D minor. So you're going to start with your second finger on the third string, second fret, and then your third finger on the third fret, second string, and then your first finger on the first string, first string, first fret. So this one you're only going to strum four strings. So from the fourth string down. Okay, and then the next chord of the song is going to be an A minor. So that's going to be your first finger on the second string, first fret, second finger on the second fret, fourth string, and the third finger on the second fret, third string. This one you're going to strum the bottom five. Then we've got G, um, and we're going to do it like this, or we could also do it like this. So the first way is with your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, uh, second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, third finger on the second string, third fret, and then your pinky right below it on the first string of the third fret. So you could do it like that, or you could take your pinky off and move your third finger down to the first string. Either way works. Those are the only chords that we need for the whole song. It's super repetitious, so it's a great song if you're a beginner looking to learn how to switch chords faster along with the song um, or just kind of get the rhythm down um, it's great because it just keeps repeating so you don't really have to keep rewinding the song if you mess up um, so that's pretty much all the chords so let's go over how the song fits together so first of all um, it's a really weird rhythm so I like to think of it as the D minor is kind of like a down and then on your next down you're gonna kind of hit the guitar like that but you're not gonna pluck the strings and then you're gonna do an up hit so like this and it's really hard to get that rhythm down um, so it's just gonna be something you have to work at but yeah I'll go a little bit slower so So you're going to go, you can think of another word to, to say instead of down when you hit the guitar, like maybe you could say hit. So down, hit, up, down, hit, up, and then we're going to do another up, and then we're going to move to the A minor, and that's going to be a down for a, for a second. So down, hit up, up, down. So, do you hear that rhythm? I'll go a little slower. Down, hit up, up, down. Down, hit up, up, down. And then we're gonna go up, up, down. After that first down on the A minor. So the first half of it Start with D minor, down, hit up, up, and then A minor, down, up, up, down, and then if you want to, at the end he kind of adds a, a little bit of a rhythmic thing where he's covering the strings with his fingers and he's just kind of strumming a facile rhythm. So you could go down, 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 it, but yeah, it's really fast. You could do anything there, really. Um, I think he does down, 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 so I'll go a little slower on that. Down, up, down, down, but he does it really quick, down, down, down. Um, or you could do up, down, up. So I'll show you how both of those could fit in here. So we've got down, up, up, down, up, up, down, something like that, or... See how I just did up, down, up at the end of that one. It's a lot easier that way. The other way is kind of if you want to challenge yourself to do something a little bit uh, more creative. Um, but yeah, I'll do that again for you slow so you can hear it. Up, down, up. 
so down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? And then all we're going to do after that is the same thing with the G chord going to the A minor instead of the D minor. So we're going to do G. So G, so down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So putting all four of those chords together, it's going to sound like D minor, G, back to A minor. So I'll show you the one with that other little strumming pattern. Sorry, I messed that up. So I'm really just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So fast the first time, slow on the up the second time. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Um, so yeah, like I said, you don't need to play it that way. You can just do the up, down, up if that's easier. Um, after he plays this for a while, there's kind of a part where he stops singing and they play just a little uh, melody really quick. Um, so it's when they really go to the G, I think, is when it happens. hammer that or pick that or whatever you want to do um, but the notes are open three on the fifth string open two on the, the fourth string so and then back to open on the fourth string and then back to three on the fifth string so zero three fifth string zero two fourth string zero fourth string three fifth string comes in at the after the A minor gets played. See how that comes in? And then it goes up into the G. So other than that, that's the only real variation from the chords. But those chords just keep repeating um, for the duration of the song. So yeah, it's great for if you want to practice your chord switching or anything like that. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments and good luck guys.